what is up y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Ava if you are new here now it has been a minute I was on a little streak okay I was post I posted three weeks in a row and I was three weeks ahead of time at one point but then I ran out of stuff to film but today I'm taking y'all to Georgia with me I'm going to Atlanta for the first time um, I've heard some things I've heard some things about Atlanta and people have been telling me that them things are true so we're gonna see we're gonna see what atl is hitting for i've never been there before i'm actually going to chill with a couple friends that i actually met through instagram like i met them through instagram um so i don't really know what's like on the itinerary for the weekend but i'm gonna take y'all with me for the ride and um it is currently 11 52 at night my flight leaves at 6 15 in the morning so i am currently packed up i finished packing everything i'm gonna take a cbd gummy as soon as i get on the plane because i am not going to be awake for five hours sitting on a plane um yeah unlike my new york vlog i'm gonna do my best not to miss my flight this time but yeah, I'm excited because I know that I said that I was trying to take a trip every single month. Big A and T How Take LA, like that video, I said that I was trying to take a trip every single month and I was supposed to go to Miami last month in February and it just didn't work out because like it was such short timing, like such short notice, I didn't have time to plan it and I was not paying $1,300 for a flight because absolutely the f not. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to go to Georgia and see what things, what shenanigans I can get into. Say hi, Uncle Brian. Working on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Working on the floor. I put one in here or a handful in here. There go. So it's like. I made it, you guys. I'm in ATL. <laughs> we don't care about that we want the real i'm in atlanta you guys and i need to do my freaking 20 minutes because i started my challenge my do the damn 20 challenge on monday so all my girls are clocking in proud of you however like a goofy i just got off a plane i'm tired as hell i'm running on like two hours of sleep and I have to go do 20 minutes. That's like the only thing I'm doing today. Today is supposed to be back day, but I don't think I'm gonna do a whole bunch of back. I think I'm gonna just do my 20 minutes, do my abs. And then what are we doing? Is it game night? I don't we're know. Gonna go get food, so oh, we're gonna go get food. <laughs> we're gonna go get food. Are we going to Shake Shack? No, the burger spot. Which is Shake Shack? No, it's Ryan. You know I'm really not a burger person. Well, we can go to Rocky's uh, West Indian restaurant. It's like oh, West Indian food. Yeah. Yes. But it's like Sold. Thirty minutes north. I don't care how far it is. I'll walk. West Indian food like is good food. Like they sell like ackee and saltfish, beef patty, kalaloo, dumpling. They have all that stuff. Oxtail, beef patty, jerk chicken. Yeah. Mm, that's where I want to go. I didn't, th well, no, I, I could imagine that y'all would have those places out here. In Vegas, we got like one spot and it's like decent. We got everything here food wise. Like there's a lot of places here. That makes sense. There's a whole bunch of Negroes out here. So I know there's options. Like it's Indian food, it's Thai food, it's Korean barbecue. We got, it's like Vegas, and Vegas got everything. Okay. Uh, I mean, Vegas got everything, but it doesn't. Like the New York, like the Chinese food, mid. <gasps> Is wait, are you working out too? Okay, gosh, I was gonna say, you don't have to like walk with me, you don't have to go. I know that. Oh, no, I'm oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is the fourth day of my challenge, and I could not skip a day, so I literally had to come here, even though I just hopped off a plane. I have an eyelash in my eye, and it's driving me crazy. Um, I'm at my friend's apartment gym and it doesn't have everything, but I'm going to make do. Um, all my girls are literally uh, killing it. And I just felt the need to like, you know, I have to stay their fearless leader and like show up every freaking day. So I just finished my 20 minutes. Um, we're supposed to go out to eat 
at a West Indian West restaurant, which I'm like super freaking excited about. I haven't had West Indian food in forever. Um, so I'm excited to see. This eyelash is freaking killing me, but I'm excited to see what is hitting for. Um, here's the day four of my challenge. It's not focusing. Why is it not focusing? Is it focusing? She's over there, Nicolette's over there, doing her own thing. But yeah, um, I'm excited. Let me hurry up and finish my workout because I literally have not eaten since 3 a.m. Vegas time and it's 3.45 p.m. Atlanta time. So I'm freaking like my stomach is eating my back right now. Gotta go. This vlog is gonna be very all over the place. Y'all already know the drill. I do my best when it comes to vlogging, but I'm back in my room. I just took a shower. I finished my 20 minutes because of course I couldn't let my girls down. But I am starving. Like my stomach is about to fight me. It's about to fight me. Um, I love this view. Like seriously, the view is crazy. Like I could see the whole city, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what we're eating. There's this one place that does like lobster rolls and I freaking love lobster rolls, like in the Texas toast buns. I hope that we go there. If not, there was this one place, the Jamaican place that I really wanted to go to that they were talking about, but apparently it's closed today. So hopefully we're able to go tomorrow. Um, but for today, we're gonna see if I can like get some lobster rolls. Cause that place that I saw on Instagram looked freaking fire. I'm gonna include a picture of the page because yeah, y'all already know I'm a foodie. I don't hold back, especially when I'm in another city. So I'm really trying to, I'm trying to get into the Atlanta eats when I'm out here. Period. I do also, I wanted to show y'all my fit because I never wear real freaking clothes. Like, who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Top is from Buff Bunny, bottoms are from Fashion Nova. Definitely had to have these taken in though because obviously had to have them taken in. But this is the fit, okay? About to go enjoy dinner. Eh. I'm so excited you guys. I'm like so happy to be here. I have not left my house in like forever. So getting out of my house and out of town is like such a blessing for me. So I'm really looking forward to what the next four days have to offer. <laughs> my hotel is freaking huge. And I'm on the freaking 36th floor, which is crazy. This hotel is so confusing. This place though? Beetle Cat. Beetle who? Beetle Cat. Beetle Cat. Beetle Cat. This place is so freaking cute. They got a movie playing on the wall. What movie is this? I know he's old enough to know, so he would know. Wow. <laughs> Look how freaking cute this place is. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Where are we sitting? We can't do the booth. Clam chowder. Oh well, let me use the light. Clam chowder. And this is fry bread. Except what's on it? I know it looks like seaweed. Yeah. Oh nori. Okay. This is like the first thing that I'm having all day today. So I gotta go. Bye. Trying to wait on Nick to finish freaking filming and I'm just like drooling. <laughs> I knew you were recording the whole time. The homeless people here you can't see <laughs> are just <laughs> so interesting. Want to say hi? Hi. Hi. We're getting donuts right now, right? Uh -huh. Okay, which donut are you getting? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? 
getting donuts. You know what you want? Huh? Um, the white chocolate peach fritter sounds interesting. Is that good? Is it? Okay. I think I want one of those, please. What's up, y'all? So it is 9.16 p.m. on day one of being in Atlanta. Um, we went out to eat at Beetle Cat. The food was really good. I enjoyed it. After that, we went and got some donuts from, I think it's like Sublime Donuts or something like that. I don't know. I got like a, what did he get me? He got me a like white chocolate peach something. And the other one is a strawberry shortcake or strawberries and cream. Except I'm like not even hungry anymore. I'm not hungry. I'm more so tired. Like I went to bed at one o'clock in the morning um, and I had to be up at like 2.50, three o'clock in the morning to leave my house by 3.45 to get to the airport by 4 a.m. Okay. Um, my flight left at 6.15. I took a bit of a cat nap on the plane and it is so difficult to sleep on a plane. Oh my gosh, woke up, my neck was all broken and shit. I was like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. I forgot my CBD gummies. I was really upset about that. I forgot my CBD gummies and I was trying to be passed out on the flight, but nonetheless, I didn't miss my flight. I arrived on time when I was supposed to, but when I tell you guys, bro, the freaking Atlanta, the freaking airport here is the worst that I've ever encountered. Okay, granted, okay, yes, I haven't done too much traveling, you know what I'm saying? Like, definitely been to like quite a few states, but this is by far the worst airport I've ever dealt with before in my life, okay? The Georgia, the Atlanta, Georgia airport is the shit airport ever. It is so busy, it is so big, I understand that like, you know, from what I've heard, from what I've been told, that um, this is the, or it's the busiest airport in the world. I don't know if it's in the country or in the world, but either way, everything was pissing me off. The signs suck. I couldn't figure out which luggage station was mine. I was just so over it as soon as I touched down, okay? On top of me being hungry and then still having to do my 20 minutes, yeah. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. So I'm about to brush my teeth and I'm turning in, okay? Buenos noches! All right, y'all, it's day two, so it is Friday. I just wanted to show you guys the view because it is seven o'clock in the morning. And I think the view is like one of the best things that I've enjoyed so far while I've been out here. And I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I'm really hoping that this gym has a Stairmaster because I'm really not trying to fall off from my challenge that I that I initiated, you know what I mean? So. I'm going to see if this hotel has a Stairmaster. If not, I'm going to have to go to my homie's um, apartment gym and use his. Because at the bare minimum, at the bare minimum, I'm trying to do my 20 minutes a day. At everybody watching this, I don't want to hear any excuses because I am really making it happen. Okay, so y'all need to do better. Y'all need to do better. But anyway, today's going to be a great day. So let's have a great day. You see... Look how freaking, I think whenever I come to a like city city, it always gives me like New York vibes. Obviously the city's not the same, but like, I just never really get the chance to like experience this type of like urbanness because Vegas is not like that. Like all the freaking buildings in Vegas are like freaking two stories high because they can only build so high because the strip owns all the freaking airspace isn't that how it works like in vegas you can't build like so high because the strip owns the airspace so you can't like build past a certain yeah so i don't get to see all the tall buildings and stuff so i always have like an appreciation when i come to a new city and there are a whole bunch of tall buildings and I feel like I'm in an actual city. I think that's, that's Georgia State, right? Oh, wow. You see, Georgia State is right there. Pieces of it. I'm actually waiting for Homeboy to get off the freaking Stairmaster. Um, Cause he's really throwing off my, my schedule right now, okay? I wanted to freaking be done with my workout by now and have breakfast but he's throwing me off 
Michael Pusham. For the plot. For the plot. Ah, okay. It's 12.18. Um, I finished working out about an hour and a half ago. So I'm back in my hotel room. They're coming to get me so we can go to, um, where are we going? The Jamaican spot that was closed um, yesterday. That's where we're going right now. And I think that's in Duluth, like whatever place in Georgia that is, that's where we're going. Uh, I, I think I'm going to get a chance to meet one of my Insta friends too. Like her and I have become cool through Instagram, uh, which is super cool. So hopefully I get a chance to meet her, but I'm really excited for the food. Like, let's be for real. Also, this is the fit for the day because lately the fits have been eating. The brown newbies, some leg warmers, buff bunny jumpsuit, and get into it, okay. But yeah, I'm like starving, starving. Stomach is eating my back. So I'm about to go. We'll see what we get into. I think I'm going to a jump park today too. Like a uh, like a trampoline park. We'll see. Cause I don't know. I'm feeling a little too cute for that. Okay? Like I'm not trying to sweat off my lip liner. So we'll see. Look at it. It's so freaking huge. Like if I were afraid of heights, this would be insane. just got to the West Indian restaurant and it certainly smells like a West Indian restaurant that's for sure huh uh, the beef patties are y'all having beef patties okay then I'll take two beef patties please um, and y'all got Aki and Sawfish right oh my gosh dang it no Aki and Sawfish so good there's only three left only three. Yeah. What's this? This is the beef patty? This oh, is no. the beef patty. Okay, plantain. Beef patties. We got oxtail. Is that? Oh, jerk chicken. Oh, jerk chicken. Okay, jerk chicken. Except you can't even see nothing. I need like a little attachment for my you camera. You know, I yes. was going to bring one. No, I didn't bring it. I was going to say, um, I was going to bring my light for you to use. Plantains, more oxtail. How much are the drinks in it? Beef patties. You always record. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky girl. We're at a car dealership. Um, and I think they sell. So, is it only exotic cars here? Well, they have a lot of other cars, but this is where people come. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. okay. We're at Atlanta Autos. I think my. Okay, there we go. Am I even recording? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Mrs. Teflon. Huh? Teflon. Who's Mrs. Teflon? Oh. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Okay. I don't know. None of this is my taste. <laughs> it's not enough. What are you looking for? I think I need a little. You know what I'm saying? What's What's the most expensive one in here? I think I need the most. The most. This one. Okay. I'll take three. I'll take three. That's your taste. Yeah. I, this is my speed. This is my speed. <laughs> you got to take us somewhere else. <laughs> These are nice. We got the Maybach truck or whatever. Isn't it? Isn't it? What but the that's hell? We just wrap it as soon as they get it. They clean it, wash it, wrap they it. They look better in person. Yeah, they look a lot better in person. A cyber truck.
<laughs> that is crazy. It looks like a bullet. Like a futuristic Tesla. I want to see what the inside looks like. What this hole look like? That's crazy. Wow. This car is living in the year 3000, okay? I think, now I see it in person, I think it looks good. Yeah, I, I said the same thing when they were showing it to me. Like, just for perspective, look at how freaking... Look at... Look at how tall this car is with me next to it. No, Chris, I'm filming. Okay, come over here. See? You gotta stand it's so tall. These rim or these wheels are like 40 inches. Do you see how freaking tall this car is? And I'm 5'9. The weather's so nice today, it was raining earlier. But these cars are so freaking cool. I hope we get to go go-karting later. Wow. Uh, look at that. I like the girl. That's nice. That is crazy. Crazy. What? Oh, and look at how the doors open. That's cool. I've never seen... Oh, and there's like a sunroof. <gasps> Everything's so shiny. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it looks like the real color, right? This is crazy. Wait, so how much is it? 420 something. All right, I got you. <laughs> That's no. cool. We got a little podcast. Okay. Here, you ever need somebody, you, you know need a spokesperson. <laughs> Let them know I got a whole lot to say. We do them on every Sunday. Oh, wow. So this is like, this is a Sprinter, a Mercedes sprinter van and i've never seen the inside of it so oh, no, apparently so there's a bathroom um there's a mini fridge is this a fridge i think it's a fridge uh i don't want to break nothing you guys i can't afford nothing in here so let me stop oh wow fascinating very cool very cool very cool the rear they connect and fit to a bed. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, go ahead, yeah. I'll show you a little bit. This one will pull out here, something like that. Okay. Fold down. Yeah, and then this oh. one will do the same. And then you could, That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know they do all this in Sprinter vans. <laughs> wow. The other one is home. That silver one back there? It's like a limo in here. Forget about it. Open. Yeah, 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 you'll enjoy this. <laughs> Oh, look, the steps are even already out. <laughs> hope nobody's living in there. Sure, Somebody okay, because y'all be leaving them unlocked and stuff. They're protected, easier. Okay. <laughs> wow, I've never been inside one of these before. It really is like a little house. Oh, that's a Yeah, this is yeah, perfect for like road trip. There's a whole shower. Yes, there's a shower, everything in there. This is living. This yeah. is crazy. This goes down into the... Here. This, this wall goes back. Oh, yeah, okay. this comes out like a bed. It's crazy. There's a stove top. Yep, got a stove top. And you can go anywhere Sink. you want. That's crazy. TV. Yeah, the TV goes down here. Fridge, freezer, microwave. Is this closet space like storage? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Storage or whatever. Yeah. Okay, okay. And this is a bed. Yes. Okay. Is there storage? In, wait, so how does this, does this when fold? When you press the button, it all folds up oh. into a contraption, however it does it. I don't even know. It's just weird. That whole wall moves back and out. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. That is so interesting. Yeah. So this becomes a bed, y'all. This is a stove, sink. That is crazy. <laughs> yes. What the it's hell? Wow. Yeah, I'm, this is a new side of life that I can't afford, <laughs> y'all. But look, I'm working on it, okay? A Lucid? I've never seen a Lucid before. This is electric. Some of these cars are insane, y'all. And the wraps on them, like that one. Audi e-tron gt 
Electric, all electric car as well. This one's all electric? Yes. Audi e-tron and it's the GT model. Another rare specimen. Wow. I know it's rare because I ain't never heard of it. <laughs> I haven't. That is cool. Oh, Bentley. I've never seen the inside of a Bentley, y'all. 25 in red, 25 in white, and 25 in blue. Okay, and that's wait. one of them right there. So the red one that you had, so th then there's only 24 other ones in the country. Yeah, it's probably 20 by now. You know, some got crashed, some got stolen. Some Dang, got what? Okay, yes. so they only made 25 of these cars right here, y'all. Correct. It's a V12 engine, it's an S65. Okay. So okay, so how much is that red Mercedes? The red Mercedes is $20. Let me see, let me see. People think I got all these prices in my head. You the man. Nah, you the not. man with the prices. The I'm just the guy. Come on. So there's only 25 of these in the country. Okay, how much guess? Give me a guess. If I had to guess, oh, look at the headlights. Yes. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. If I had to guess. Yes. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I suck at freaking car prices. So we'll say 175000 Oh, you close. Give it another 30000 Oh, oh. It's open. Oh, another 30000 210. k y'all. 210000 for this car. Wait, he said it's open. Let's see, let's see. I'm going to show y'all. In the Maybach, what Rick Ross say? Dang. Oh, I'm don't so worry. sorry. You're good. You're good. Okay. Oh, look, I'm dinging stuff up. I can't afford to fix them. Don't ask me to fix nothing. <laughs> don't ask me to fix nothing in here. Wow. Look at the seats. The detailing on the seats. Yeah, that's crazy. A lot of detail. That is insane. It looks like the car from Cars. Isn't that so cute? Crazy. I had to punch it. This is crazy. That color. Punch it meaning punch the gas to go fast. Okay. Open it, oh, sorry. Oh, it's locked. Jeez, no it's not. I was gonna say, what? What? Look at the freaking, the seats. Insane. The seats, the doors. <laughs> what? Everything blue. What? Look at the freaking shininess. Man, was yesterday? This just looks like it costs too much. What the hell? That is crazy. If it was yesterday, check this out. Oh, no way. It comes with the freaking umbrella? Yes. Damn true, <laughs> Royce. I'm too big of a hood rat or something because I ain't never seen none of this before. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get the color. What the hell? Oh, that's your car. Oh, this is your car? I'm so sorry. I'm just taking videos of it. Sorry, your car is beautiful. Yeah. What the hell? So you can say you've been in one. Okay. <laughs> I'm in a Lambo, y'all. So somebody else will have to impress you even more. Okay, the standard is high. <laughs> exactly. You ain't pulling up with one of these. You're setting the standard. You know what I'm saying? You know? That is crazy. But you gotta hold on also because we're in the Lambo. Is it, or is it meant to be a convertible? Like it's supposed yeah, to be like 
things that does okay. come up, yes. Got you. You know, on a day like today, why not? I mean, yeah, it's nice. Right. I just, I've never been in one before. Uh, that is back. crazy. So we don't take you too far away. They won't think I kidnapped you. <laughs> I know. And this is my first time in GA. I've never been here before. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love it here. Really? Yeah. See, I've never been here before, and I'm like, I'm from New York, obviously. I would never live there again. But, right. like, I don't know. I'm, like, wondering if Atlanta's a bit too much for me, you know? No, it's not. In Alpharetta. Look at they got the flowers. You know in uh the nice neighborhood. They got tulips. I ain't seen tulips in forever. Yeah, I said we need the TikTok front and back camera at the same time. <laughs> It's my turn, y'all. <laughs> got back to my hotel room we went to top golf obviously it was so much fun i freaking suck at golf but it's the experience that's what i go for um but i don't know it's like not late but it's not early either it's like i don't know i don't know where my phone is where's my phone yeah it's 8 37 so i'm kind of in for the night I don't even know what else to do, to be honest. I know that I'm gonna have so much work when I get back. Like, I have so many freaking people like applying for one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I know I'm gonna have a whole bunch of work to do when I get back. Vacation is literally a scam when you're like an entrepreneur because you take a vacation and then you come back and you've got so much work that you have to catch up on. So, I don't know y'all, I don't know. I, I'm, the, I'm like, I'm dreading it so bad, but like, I'm so grateful because this is the life that I prayed for two years ago. Like if y'all knew, if y'all freaking knew, man, my life is night and day and I'm so blessed, so grateful. Um, but today was a good day. 
today was a really good day. I can't stop looking at the view, like the view of the freaking city is what I keep looking at. And I freaking love it so much. But I just wanted to close out today. It was great. Um, I think I'm going to Mecca's On My Glutes class tomorrow. Or no, I am going at 10 in the morning. So I'm going to do my 20 minutes beforehand. And then Nicolette and I are going to go and do her class, which I'm excited for. But until tomorrow, y'all. I know I just like hopped on here to... um conclude day two but i actually left again to get some more donuts these donuts i don't even think i'm gonna be able to show y'all without like dropping it i got a nutella one the strawberries and cream and a cinnamon toast crunch donut from sublime donuts because i was craving them i was like wait a second you know we got to double back and so we did and so we did but this for sure is my final conclusion for the night. I promise. Good night, y'all. All right, y'all. It is Saturday. Okay. So technically day three. And of course, another day I gotta show y'all the view because I'm never going to adjust to it. <sighs> of course, I'm on my way to do my damn 20 because I literally cannot miss it <laughs> so i'm going to do 20 minutes on the stairmaster at my friend's apartment gym again um as i mentioned yesterday i am going to do mecca's on my glutes class i'm gonna like include her page or like her class or something so y'all know what i'm talking about i got my eyebrows microbladed not too long ago and the color is like finally starting to come in don't they look pretty i don't know is my camera focusing can y'all see i feel like they look so good right now this one needs to be touched up but you know honestly i'm like proud of my decision to be honest because like i had eyebrows but they just weren't shaped but now they're shaped y'all better talk to me nice when i hop on this camera okay um but yeah i'm so tired you guys oh my gosh i'm so freaking tired because my body is like my body is just all over the place because of daylight savings, like us losing an hour on top of me being three hours ahead than what I'm used to in Vegas. So technically it's like 4.30 in the morning right now where I am or like where I live, you know? But anyway, I'm on my way to Stairmaster to master the hell out of these stairs. And then I'm gonna do Mecca's class. Um, I'm good. I don't know if I'm gonna record me doing Mecca's class because I'm so unfreaking coordinated when it comes to doing stuff like that. So I'm, I don't know how much of that I actually feel comfortable capturing on camera. I'm definitely, definitely standing in the back of the class. Um, and that's just gonna be that. Okay? That's just gonna be that. Ew. They never stuff in Vegas, do they? No, they don't. So I just finished my 20 minutes not too long ago. I'm here with Nicolette Monroe and I wanted to do Mecca's class for like the longest time. And I was like really hoping that she's like not gonna do her little step class that she be doing. Because look, my big ass is built like a damn cinder block, okay? If I go down, we all going down. So I can't do the little step class. I think today is the, uh, the booty band class. Let me show y'all. class destroyed <laughs> destroyed us i swear as soon as i took that band off free from the shackles <laughs> i can't even walk about to fall off. run conta run i was done done for it that class had me floored <laughs> floored i was on the floor floored um i don't know miss mecca could have taken it easy on me it was my first time, but I think she did that so I wouldn't come back. But all she had to do was tell me. Look at this goober. This goober. 
recording me. <laughs> Do you not want me to sit on a seat pad? Are you sweaty, sweaty? Yes. Do you know what I just been through? I don't think he understands what I just went through. <laughs> I saw my life flash before my eyes like six times. I bet. What a gentleman setting me up. Appreciate ya. All right. Yeah, she was trying to take pics. And boy, it was. Yeah. It was a fun class, though. I would kill. I would literally pay front row like tickets to see you do an Oh My Glutes class. Like, if I saw Brian do a class, I would literally cry laughing. That class was good, though. I'm back in my hotel. I just died at Oh My Glutes uh, or Mecca's Oh My Glutes class. Literally freaking killed me. Literally killed me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta put some respect on her name because ain't no freaking way. I don't even know what the hell that was. Like, girl, if you did not want me to come back, just say that. Just say that. But anyway, uh, it is Saturday. I'm pretty sure we're going go-karting today. Uh, we tried going a couple days ago, but it was raining. So I am about to go eat. Um, I think we're going to get barbecue and then we're going go-karting after i gotta show y'all the view of course because it's one of my favorite things it's been one of my favorite things while being here this is the fit for the day this is the fit for the day gymshark top gymshark leggings buff bunny bolero asics a moment okay let me go because i gotta like walk to my friend's house he's literally a block away i told him i would walk so I am so excited to eat. So excited to eat. Gotta go. Okay, so we just got our food. I got mac and cheese, mashed potatoes. Oh no, potato salad, right? Yeah. It looks like mashed potatoes. I was gonna say that. Okay, hot link, ribs, cornbread. I'm pretty sure she got, no, you got greens. Okay. And you got, what is it called? Brunswick? Brunswick stew. Brunswick stew. I've never heard of that before. Baked beans. Ribs. This looks so freaking good. And they have um, homemade barbecue sauce. Like this one's spicy, and then this one is sweet. But they're telling me to try it like without the sauce because apparently the meat is like really good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It is good. Really good. I'm still gonna put barbecue sauce on it though. I love barbecue sauce. No, it's really good. Look at this again. Mm. That's fire. I was expecting them to be like little ribs. That's why I was gonna get the five piece. But I'm saying that. Yeah, these are good. I was expecting a little more from the the cornbread. Yeah, it's there. You. How spicy is that barbecue sauce? No, not spicy. It just has nah. spicy flavor. It is good though. Like by itself. That's why it's hard to put the sauce on. If the sauce makes it good, you forget about it. But... Okay. Spicy barbecue. Just a smidge. Oh, their barbecue sauce is different. It's like not traditional barbecue sauce. I don't know how to explain it. It's good. I mix both. Oh, do you? 
Like, this is sweet too. I thought it was gonna be, um, I don't know what I thought it was gonna be. I've been trying to sweeten it too. Which one do you like better? It's very tiny. This one? Oh. That's why I said it's not like traditional barbecue sauce. That's what it is. That's why I like it. I like barbecue sauce like this. Okay. I'm gonna try the sweet one. I mean, they're both good as hell. <laughs> I'm in Georgia, eating barbecue. <laughs> these are good. I gotta enjoy these off camera. Cause this ain't, mm. Okay, the ribs were obviously good. I got mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is okay. The noodles are a little too soft, like overcooked. You know what I mean? Um, but the potato salad is good. But they kind of look like mashed potatoes. Hmm? So they are really soft today. I yeah. Feel like they're usually soft, but not like that. Like it's not horrible as far as like flavor, but the texture of the noodles is killing me. But the potato salad, I could get jiggy. Real good. And then also got cornbread. I was expecting a little more from the cornbread, but cornbread's okay. I need like the what's it called? I should have saved that little sample that he gave me. Mm-hmm. You like baked beans? Mm hmm Not really. I just said not really. Oh, they give them back then. I mean, I'll still try them for the tube. Because I'm not huge on baked beans. I mean, they do. I like the flavor of them. Mm -hmm. They're good. I don't know if they're just like too soft though. Are they supposed to be that soft? Yeah. They are? Okay. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. I don't even like this. I don't know. I just expected. Yeah, they're supposed to have a little more bite to them. No? I don't know. Like even the the pasta, pasta should be al dente. But it's a little too soft for my liking. Food's still good though. He's talking shit about how big I am, you guys. Tell YouTube how big you think I am. Yeah, all of a sudden he ain't got nothing to say. But anyway, I finished all my food, y'all. <laughs> it was so freaking good. She's coming back with to-go boxes. <laughs> He's been talking shit all day. All day. Never ended with him. I wouldn't. <laughs> he said I'm too big. <laughs> I got some cake, you guys. Red velvet cake from the same place. She got vanilla cake. I thought it was gonna be, uh, what'd you say they have? Lemon cake? Lemon cake, yeah. Yeah, but this is the red velvet cake. So I gotta try it real quick. Are you gonna record me trying my cake? <laughs> he just wants to be a cinematographer so bad. <laughs> just gotta be a part of something. He really wanna be the manager. Mm-hmm, so bad. Okay. It's not bad. I don't like red velvet. You don't? Mm -mm. What? Because it's chocolate, well, cocoa. It's I basically, like yeah, cake. it's basically a red chocolate cake. But it doesn't have that red velvet aftertaste. You know what I'm talking about? And that's why I hate. Really? I love <laughs> that. And it doesn't really have that. It has it, but mm, I don't know. I'm biased. Cause I like my stepmom's red, red velvet cake. That's the best cake I've ever had. Red velvet anyway. But it's still good. Mm. Why are you opening up the window? Let some light up in here. <laughs> I forgot it's darker. <laughs> oh my like the bat God. cave in here. 
Mmm. I mean, but it's beautiful to look at. Ooh. This one is good. The vanilla cake? You want some? Low key. Just because it's real hard to pick up a vanilla cake. Oh, it's like sponge. Mm -hmm. See, mine is not like that. Mine is so dense. Oh, I guess I'll try some. Mm hmm. Oh, damn. <laughs> See? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, mine was so dense. Like, can't even get it. Ah! You gotta watch a nigga knock the whole cake down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn. That is sick. Isn't it? It's like two pieces of cake, low key. But it doesn't really have that. I see what you're saying. It yeah, it doesn't have that red it velvet. velvet mm-hmm. Like it's still good though. It's mm -hmm. just not. I think it's too thick. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's just dense. Like it's not spongy. Not bad though. Delicious. Thank you to the spot where we are go karting, but they don't open for like another 20 minutes. So, oops, sorry. So we're just chilling and waiting. But I just really like the setting. Like they got like waterfalls and everybody's golfing. So you could do like golf carting here. You can do golf here. Is there an arcade here too? Yeah, there's an arcade here too. What's the name of the place? Make sure I'm about to get us in line. You didn't get, bring Mount the Asia. There it is on the Oh, Mount Asia. Okay, got you. Mount Asia is the name. But this is just so scenic. I love this so much. One thing I do love about Georgia, there's freaking trees everywhere. Trees everywhere. And there's water. What you mean there's water? Like it's running on its own? That's crazy. You didn't man make the lake and put it in the middle of nowhere and call it Lake Mead? <laughs> crazy. But this is so beautiful. And the weather's freaking perfect today. Oh, this is where you do golf cart or go karting. Oh. There is a line. She's lying. The girl done told us that there was no line. There's definitely a line. We playing putt putt golf. That's fine. And I suck. How many, is this supposed to be a part two? And it took me eight cars. <laughs> oh, we holding up the line. I'm so sorry. I almost want to let these people go first. I was about to say. Like, cause you gonna be here all day waiting for me. Oh damn, right back to start. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's slanted. Dang, she done started all over. That's what I said. She went back to start. Oh, oh that was that. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. Wait. Uh -huh. No? Yay. That's what she done did yet. Shut up. Um, I was going to say, I'm letting y'all go first yeah, because... She, 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 she has like scoliosis or something. <laughs> I actually do. Shut up. We're going to let the. We're going to let y'all go first. Y'all could go because, yeah, y'all going to be here a minute. I had to let these people go first, y'all. Because I'm ass. Dude, this is a lot of steps. Okay, this actually might be a part two. <laughs> Pressure. Come on, Uncle oh. B. Oh, shoot. Y'all gonna be messed up over here. They just come right back on where we started from. Pup Pup Golf is such a scam. Oh, shoot. Well, she got the closest, low key. It's gonna come right back. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me turn the defocus off. We just got to what is this? Lennox Lennox Mall. And what exactly are we here for? 
just because they have an Aritzia. No firearms. Oh, okay. I thought you were waiting for it to go off. <laughs> How fancy. Golden Goose. I've never heard of that store before. Those are those, those are those uh, dirty shoes that you put in right now. Which ones? What? Those shoes, because they look dirty, but you're paying a lot of money for them. What the f You buy them like that? Yeah, see? Look at the dirt on them. How much are they? A lot. Probably like 800 Imagine paying for dirty shoes. Ferragamo. Louis V, Fendi, Gucci, Burberry. Dang, a whole bunch of window shopping looks like. $600. $600 for them dirty ass shoes? Yeah. Boy. She talked about this is the designer hall. I said, well, where's the lunch hall? Because there's a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of places that I cannot shop. Oh, can we go into the Peel store? The Kiel store? Peels, Kiel's. Cause they were having a sale online. I wanna get some skincare. We're at the, wait, what is this called? Uh, Pond City Market. The Pond, the Pond City Market. And what are we here to get? Uh, we don't know what we're getting. We're here for food. to my hotel room like two hours ago uh, but I've been texting my friends all this time but today was so freaking fun you guys like I went um, go-karting and uh, Brian actually got videos of me go-karting <laughs> I really had such a good time like this was the most exhilarating experience I've had in like two months um, ever since I went to the LA Fit Expo a couple months ago so I was I'm just excited to be out of my house y'all like I'm such a homebody so today was freaking great I loved it um, and we had some good ass food too like today was just 10 out of 10 day 10 out of 10 today was great and then tomorrow morning we're supposed to be going shooting um so that should be an experience i don't know where we're eating yet though but i'm excited okay i'm excited um i'm about to go edit my video for monday because i actually leave on monday and i want to make sure i have my post done for instagram but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go edit real quick so i could go to bed but talk to y'all tomorrow hey y'all it's sunday I'm so tired, like I am so tired. I think the time difference is like finally catching up with me um, because it's really only 5.48 in Vegas right now. So like it's 8.48 here, it's 5.48 in Vegas and 
I'm just trying to wake the hell up right now and I'm struggling. I need to go do my 20 minutes and I'm so tired. I'm so tired, but I'm a woman of my word and I can't let them down. Sometimes I just want somebody else to be y'all fearless leader. And if y'all can see all the sleep in my eyes, I'm so sorry. But sometimes I just want somebody else to be y'all fearless leader. I don't want to wake up and clock in every single day. But that's what I get. Gosh. Anyway, let me go get ready. Okay, y'all, this is my first time getting Zaxby's. I've heard good things. But Nick says it's mid. She said every single time she eats it, it tastes old. But this honestly just looks like canes, to be honest. They've got their own sauce, Zaxby's sauce. I can't even open the thing. No, I got it. Thank you. Okay, let's see. We're gonna try the chicken finger right now. And this looks like cane sauce. It's probably the same. It's like a cane version. It's definitely similar. Hmm. It's not bad. If anything, I think I like this better than Cane's. Because Cane's just tastes crispy. <laughs> Cane's like just, but Cane's just tastes crispy. Like, it don't taste like nothing but crunchy chicken. It don't no, have I no get seasoning. It. I get why people don't like Cane's, but I like the sauce to me just makes it. And then if you mix the sauce with the hot sauce. But see? And their fries are good. good Cane's is nothing without the sauce. Yeah. But everything at Cane's is good. Their fries, their toast, the chicken. Nah, they fries be soggy as Zaxby's salad? I like fried salad. You like what? salad? If you like salad, Zaxby's salad is See, I'd never think to go to a fast food place and get a salad. Their fries are good though. Fries are solid. No, this sauce does not taste like It's very similar. You get fries, but they're like overcooked. You get like No, I like them a little charred because I like crunchy fries. Mm -hmm. I don't want to stop it. These look like they use old grease or something. The chicken grease. I got the honey mustard. Everybody's honey mustard is not the same. Not all honey mustard is equal. Their honey mustard is good. How many sauces do they have? It was just barbecue, Zach sauce, honey mustard. Mm. No. They've got toast. I mean, this is just a piece of white bread toasted. It ain't even Texas toast. It's like baked te Texas toast. Butter. <laughs> yeah, they butter it, but it ain't Cane's toast. Cane's toast is definitely better. But the chicken department, I think Zaxby's actually put salt on their chicken. <laughs> Canes don't do that. They haven't caught on yet. What I also don't like is that you can use little pieces, but canes, you always get the big ones. Yeah. But they probably using them, them plumped up cyborg chicken. <laughs> the chicken we shouldn't be eating. Not bad though. Seven out of 10. We're on our way to shooting is there like a particular place that we're on our way to oh, like south river gun club. south who south river gun club. south river gun club that's where we're going this should be interesting the uh the shotgun range oh it's so funny this is where they shoot uh, trap and skeet trap and skeet Fascinating. Okay. All right, y'all. We just got to the shooting range. I need to change. You're already in your stuff? Yeah, I'm just... Okay. So I need to put on a t 
crew neck, change my shoes. And then what else do I need? I, for, I think I forgot my hair clip. Do I need to put my hair up? Do you. This should be very interesting. I gotta change my shoes because I'm not getting, I just got these new balance, you guys. And I don't want to mess these up. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. People do it differently. This is how I do it. You can do it however you're comfortable with it. I take my two fingers and I align around and kind of push it and press it down on it. You take the magazine, you insert it in the firearm. You can either push the slide release or you can pull the slide back. I prefer you pull the slide back from the rear because if you grab it from the front, it's a good chance you'll smash your finger in there. So we're gonna pull it back from the rear, point it down the range. Now the weapon is ready to fire. Whenever you pick up a firearm or someone hands you a firearm, even if it's empty, assume that it's not. So you're gonna go through the same process. So like, let's just say, I know this gun is empty because I checked it far left. But before I play with it, I'm gonna take it out. Now, keep in mind the muzzle is never crossing anybody. I'm gonna take it out. What's the first thing you do? Drop the mag. Take the mag out. And then hook the thingy. Pull and the slot back and check to make sure there's no round. In there. Oh, I was gonna say you just shake. Okay. It. But now I know that this round is safe. So I can drop the slide and do whatever I'm gonna do. Gotcha. You need to shoot with your own. Nick's a pro. I could barely hear anything. I could barely hear anything because I have the little thingies in. But I did shoot my first target. I did pretty good. I did pretty good. So now he told me everybody that has like cold or what they think, they suck. Because y'all accuracy is off. But look at me. I definitely am a little intimidated by like shooting them. So my first board did not really look like this. But we tighten it the ends right now. Tilted. Well, I mean, you gotta record me to be honest because. <laughs> Coming this way. <laughs> I've got on a real belt. Okay. I ain't never worn one of these before. I feel like I'm about to go on like a, like a freaking, uh, what do they call? A tour <laughs> to Afghanistan or something. I'm about to be. She's suiting up for combat. You know, trained all my life for this. I'm getting drafted. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Get a red dot? Yeah. Okay, now what I want you to do, Come here, the fresh ready, power ready, line it up. Where you want to shoot them in the head, chest? Where you want to shoot them at? I was going to try and aim for the brown sticker. Go ahead on, that's fine. Oh, good shot. You hit the, I think you hit the tip up. Keep going. Oh, okay. I want you to knock it, I want you to knock the face off of this. I don't want to see no more brown. Keep going. Take your time. Good. Put them in the same hole. Keep going. Oh, you hit it. Oh, hold on one sec. Hold on time. My mug is down. Yeah, that was a good shot. Boom, take your cover trash. How you feel? <laughs> I accomplished because I finally hit a target. You hit them. All the dots he done put on these things, I missed it every single time. Not no more. That was old. <laughs> finally. 
You got your right. Fine, got your right. Okay. Come, you know, come up on the face of <laughs> Come up. Come up. I'm just shooting right now. I ain't even trying to slow. Come up, and I want to really focus in on it. Oh, you put in the same hole. You right, right. right. Oh, keep going. Oh, keep going. Yeah, all right. So you don't want to lose the advantage if he's close. You don't want to stick it out there another foot, close. Huh? Right. So think about if I'm up on the target. I want this. If I'm on the target, I'm coming up. I'm not have to block. I want. I want the gun here. Yes. One. That's one and two. That was good. That was perfect. Oh. No, that's right. That's right. Now three. Mario. And then four, you're going to shoot. Two. Rock the right Okay. <laughs> Put your hand down. One. Two. <laughs> it's okay. Two. Sorry, one, I'm two, panicking. Go slow. <laughs> good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you got to keep the other hand. <laughs> okay, come forward. One, two, three. There you go. There you go. Let's go. Perfect. Right. Right, perfect. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. All right, that's it. Nice. One, two, three. Get on the dot, pull the trick. Good. You're dead in the chest right here. We're at, what is this place called? Fellini's, Fellini's Pizzeria. And the inside is actually pretty cool. Zones, do they have a uh, garlic knots? I really want some garlic knots. Hmm. Let's see. They do calzones too. Oh, their pizza actually does look good. I'm looking at these people's plates and it looks really good. Okay, the pizza looks solid. I'm waiting for my slices to come out though. I got a white. Like white pizza with like the white sauce and garlic and whatever and then I also got um, a Hawaiian. Pineapple goes, you're one of those people that don't think pineapple goes on pizza. He's not listening to me but I think pineapple goes on pizza so I don't know where Nick went. There we go. Their pieces of ham are like really good. Like they put generous pieces on here. But it's delicious. And I can't tell if it's because I'm like super freaking hungry or if the pizza is actually really freaking good. I wish they had french fries though. They don't have french fries. But it's good otherwise. All right, y'all, so I just got back to my room. We just got done eating pizza, and I'm going to miss this view so bad. I'm gonna miss this view so bad. Um, but I need to pack up a little bit. Um, I'm supposed to be going out to see a friend tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that, I guess. But this has been my first time in Atlanta, and it's been absolutely amazing. I'm grateful for the friends that I have and the people that I know who have afforded me the opportunity to come out here. So I'm looking forward to coming out here again someday. Um, but my first time was definitely superb. Um, I was supposed to freaking film this voiceover for my video like two nights ago. So I'm actually gonna do that right now and pack up a little bit. That's pretty much it for tonight. All right, y'all. I know I already hopped on here, but I just have to show you guys this view one more time because this is my last night looking at it while I am out here. I freaking love this view so much. I'll be back. I'll be back. I don't know when, but I'm gonna be back. 
I'm gonna be back. It's about 11 o'clock at night. I'm about to wash my face and go to sleep because I'm actually really freaking tired. So, adios. Good morning, y'all. It's my last day in Atlanta. I'm about to go and do my damn 20 minutes. Then I'm coming back and showering and then I'm supposed to meet up with my friend for lunch. But it is my last time looking at this view. And I'm so sad about it. But I will be back. Um, it's supposed to be leg day. I haven't had like a really, really, really good leg day in like so long. And I don't think I'm gonna have one today. Honestly, like my goal is just doing my freaking 20 minutes because I'm so tired. Like my body is tired. But I can't, um, I can't skip a day because I'm running a challenge right now. So that's on me, but I'm mostly packed. So when I come back, I'm not gonna have to do that much, but I actually need to be back here like before a certain time. So I've got to go. On our way to the airport. Tears, tears. We made one final round to Chick-fil-A. And now I'm on my way home. I actually didn't check in for my flight. I should probably do that later right now. <laughs> I forgot. So I'm gonna check in for my flight. My flight is at 9 p.m. Which means I won't get back to Vegas until like probably close to 10 p.m. Vegas time. Yeah, around 10 p.m. Vegas time. I'm about to have like the longest day ever because vacation is really such a scam. Like you go on vacation and then go home and have to catch up on everything that you missed. So, can't wait. Everybody, please like, like, get on Nick's ass about her freaking Instagram or her YouTube because I'm really trying to yell at her about it. So, I don't know what it's gonna take, but everybody, please spam her. Actually, I'm gonna include her, uh, her YouTube channel. So y'all can go like, comment, subscribe. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let y'all know when I land because I'm always a little weary when I get on airplanes, to be honest. I'm back home, y'all. I'm back home. It is 12.08 in the morning. I'm so freaking tired. I'm so freaking tired. I fell asleep for like probably two hours of the flight, which is good. Um, but I woke up and I was just in such a freaking mood, like... You know how you just get off the plane and you don't want to do anything but touch your mattress? That's exactly what I want to do. I want to touch my mattress with my whole body, okay? I'm so tired. I have so much work I'm going to have to do tomorrow. Um, but this has been a long and extended weekend in Atlanta. My first trip to Atlanta. It was great. I can't wait to go back. But if you watched this long, I appreciate you as per usual. Until next time, bye.